How have you been, my dear audience? Welcome back to Weekly Spotlight. Another week has passed, and we're finally back with some piece of news about the global crypto situation. You might want to know. Without further ado, let's get started on the first one, shall we? Starting off our video, we have a wonderful news that can further bring crypto and NFT to mass adoption. Starbucks S Books is set to begin an NFT-based loyalty program with the blockchain technology provided by Polygon. The company Starbucks Odyssey will allow customers to purchase and earn digital collectible stamp in the form of an NFT that offers benefits in the immersive experience. The program is to build on Polygon Network, a scaling tool that sits on top of the Ethereum network. Applications that run on Polygon and other scalers can avoid some of the high costs and low transaction speeds caused by transactions on the Ethereum main network. Starbucks hinted at developing a Web3 experience in May when it announced plans to launch a series of NFT collections, providing unique experience, community building, and customer engagement. Customers can now join a waste list to gain access to Starbucks Odyssey. Starbucks is one of the most popular brands in the traditional industry, and this collaboration will soon to spread the value of Web3. Next, we have an exciting news from Elama Tesla Company. Specifically, Tesla are testing the new Cyber Whistle that can only be bought using Dog Coin. Inspired by Cybertruck, the limited edition Spy Whistle is a premium collectible made from medical grade stainless steel with a polished finish. The whistle includes an integrated attachment feature for added versatilities. On top of that, Tesla requires buyers to pay only in dog coin. Dog. The price tag at the time of publication is $1,000 at around $60. Taxes and shipping are included in the dog price. Let us say that dog coin is the only cryptocurrency that is currently accepted for select merchandise. Like all the digital asset transactions, incorrect payment amount of asset price sent to its address will not be reserved or refunded. User require Docker wallet to pay for Tesla goods. Elamo Tesla CEO has been a prominent supporter of the meme currency, claiming last year that Dogecoin is better than Bitcoin for payments. Following Tesla suit, Spake also began accepting Dogecoin as payment for merchandise in May. Moving on, one of the biggest news this week is the arrest announcement of Do Kwon, co-founder of Tether Network. A South Korea court has issued an arrest warrant against Do Kwon, according to the Financial Crime Unit of Supreme Prosecutor Office. The warrant comes four months after the collapse of the $40 billion Terra ecosystem and its algorithmic stablecoin USD, which was the first domino to fall this year's crypto winter. The contagion that followed caused an industry-wide fallout, with crypto lender Celsius Network and crypto broker Voyager Digital filing for bankruptcy as the value of digital assets done by more than 50% from their highs. In his first public interview last month, Dokwon had maintained that he's cooperating with authorities. Dokwon also reiterated his commitment to the Terra ecosystem and his relaunch Terra token Lunar. The token has continued to slump by 16% over the past hour. Next, we have amazing news from BNB Chain Ecosystem, in which the team has partnered with Google Cloud to possess Web3 and Blockchain Star. Startup that currently building products and services on the BNB Chain blockchain will also be able to build on Google Cloud's scalable, secure, and open source infrastructure. You will see over 1,300 active BNB Chain Bay decentralized applications from the world of decentralized finance, metaverse, blockchain games, and non fungible tokens given access to the tools and infrastructure provided by both platforms. This project will also be able to make use of Google Cloud for data encryption and on-demand analysis of on-chain data in real-time. A key takeaway is providing the platform for developers and projects access to carbon neutral cloud infrastructure to scale offerings. The partnership will also facilitate access to the Google for Startups cloud program to a specific web tributor from the BNB Chain ecosystem. This includes projects that have been identified for the BNB Chain most valuable builders, Accelerator Initiative. And lastly, one of the most important news in this industry, the Ethereum merge has officially taken place, marking the full transitions of the network to the proof of stake. Yesterday, the long-awaited merge saw the emerging of the Ethereum main execution layer and the peak on chain consensus layer, meaning the network will no longer rely on proof of work consensus mechanisms. Ether price got a slight boom following the merge in hourly metrics, currently trading at around 1,006. $135. According to the data from TradingView, the Ethereum Foundation said that the merge will make the Ethereum network about 19.95% more energy efficient and will set the stage for future scaling solutions, including sharding. With the merge complete, the third, third 
Torch and Splurge are the final stages left the Ethereum technical roadmap. The third we increase scalability for rollup through sharding, the work we achieve steadiness through vert trees, the purge we eliminate historical data and technical depth, and the blur we involve some more number misclutters of rage. One of the biggest transitions in the history of blockchain didn't go without oppositions. Ethereum Proof of Work Core, a group representing Proof of Work miners, announced that it will conduct a hard fork within 24 hours after the merge. Okay y'all, that's all we're gonna go over in this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this and also learn something new from it. If you find this interesting, you can always check out our daily news at brme.space, where you will see crypto updates every day. Thank you for your watching and supporting us.